Hey guys, how are you going? Well, today I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I've done to this bike since I've had it. Things I haven't been able to show you guys yet because the weather has been absolutely crap being winter here in Australia. Oh, I've done a couple of things. Um, I do have other things to go on still, but I haven't done them yet. So um, I did a really short bit um, video on the tail tidy. That looks just absolutely sick as I love this tail tidy. It just looks so neat and tucked away. Of course, I'm getting a low exhaust, so these will disappear. So that will look absolutely awesome. Uh, clean up the whole back end. Passenger peg hangers will be coming off because I don't have passengers on here. But let's start, I don't know if you can see here. Right there, look at that. There you go. Triumph in tele shift. So I've added the quick shifter. That was a bit of a uh, an absolute nightmare getting that on. Not not the actual wiring side of things, but the length and getting it through the frame and on these ball ball joints they got there for the shifter pegs. But yeah, it's pretty good. I also um, added the um, axle finishing nut right here this thing here so it's not that big sort of nut you can see the washer behind there but um, I might take it off because I've got a um, an axle slider system that acts as uh, bobbins so I can actually put it on the you know the two-sided stand instead of using the single-sided swing arm stand to clean in all the chain which is things you should do um, I added the belly pan that's just finished it right off it's just cleaned up the entire bottom end of the bike there a bit dirty I actually got smashed on the way home the other night uh, Thursday night and it, I just got caught in an actual torrential downpour I got so wet and so <laughs> and the bike got so dirty um, but what else can I tell you about that that's um what's that coming off there for a bit of a mark in there clean that off I also put these mushroom sliders on the front axle see those there I got these out of England um, they were $165 for the front and the rear, and the rear adds, adds, goes all the way through because it's been a single sided swing arm. It goes through and acts as like a, um, a um, like I was saying for the, for the bobbins. But they're called, um, what are they called? Um, I think they're called like JB something. JB biker bits or bike bits. And they're in like in the UK. Pretty good. They're actually really, really good. Good solid. All all made in the in their own factory to suit each particular bike. So yes, yeah, so I've got that. So I've got my GPR exhaust. Bit of a story behind that, unfortunately. Um, it got all the way. I waited nearly what six weeks to get it. I got there. It actually got to where I work. I unpacked everything. I was fucking missing bits. Can you believe that? All the way from Italy. So I've been in touch with them. They have posted out the bits that um, I didn't receive, but I've probably got to wait another four to six weeks to get that. So all it was it was missing one piece and the most crucial piece. So I got the mid I got the mid pipe, I got the muffler, I got the mounting bracket that comes out behind here. I didn't get the metal band that goes around the exhaust and holds it to the to the bracket. Pissed off to say the you know to say the least. Um, but you know what? It's just gonna have to wait, unfortunately. So. Um, yeah, but the exhaust itself, fuck, beautiful quality. Can't wait to get it on there. Clean up this whole ass end. And you point it to you guys see that when it's done. I fixed up uh, this this lip. The guy that had it before me hadn't installed it correctly. It was actually I don't know if you can see in there. It's a bit hard to see actually. There's a bit of a gap. You can see a bit of a gap in there that actually pulls up inside a little tiny lip. So it looks like that, and it goes up inside like this. Well, he hadn't done that. He'd put it on the outside. And I questioned him about it, and he went, no, no, that's all correct. Well, it wasn't. Anyway, it's all fixed. It's solid as now. That's all done. Yeah, and that's about it for for, to, for that. So, um, yeah, definitely got um some good stuff for it. But, that, but just that belly pan, eh? It just suits that, just cleans up the whole bottom end of this bike. I love this bike. Poor old Harley. It's been neglected a bit. Haven't ridden that too much. I think I'm riding this bike 10 to 1 to the Harley. But I'm going to go with my mates tomorrow, probably on the Harley. But there you go. 
it is an awesome looking bike I just can't wait to clean all that out because this whole last end is just such a good looking sort of back end for a bike and if you can imagine that not there not there and just seeing this tidy little tail tidy all that open area in there with the single sided swing arm mate she's going to look beautiful so there you go let me know your thoughts guys um that's about it i'm probably going to do a quick video uh, right i'm going to go get some lunch in a minute i'm starving hungry my just after work on a sad day i get some lunch and i'll probably might do a quick video of me changing um with the quick shifter quick shifters it's good fun don't get me wrong but it's pretty clunky i think it must be just a thing we're trying for quick shifters i've had a few in the past and they've all been a bit clunky so yeah so um uh yeah stay tuned for that one guys that'll be coming out pretty soon i'll put some diablo some pirellis on i never showed you these guys um i got rid of the fucking pardon my french because they really upset me those tires i got rid of those dunlop i think they were called street smart or road smarts so they were absolutely crap so anyway i put the pirelli diablo rossos on it's a new bike absolutely new bike really good tread they're not um they're still hot from just riding here they're not um um an overly sticky tire so we, uh, hopefully i'll get some good life out of them but i tell you what this thing just, just handles like it's on rails now it's like a scalpel like the ktms so there you go guys she needs a clean I'll tell you what in this sunlight you can see all the dirt and everything in that's from riding it getting caught out in the rain the other day that was a bastard anyway what do you do it's only rain i guess so there you go guys stay tuned for the next one let me know what you think of these new additions i've done belly pan the axle finishing kit the quick shifter which is a genuine triumph one i found one locally here in australia in perth and this evo tech tail tidy so awesome so yes i would if i if i didn't have to put those on i wouldn't but they're a legal requirement you can get fined for not having that and just don't want to draw attention to it so do everything by the book so there you go guys i will see you very soon on another one bye for now